Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben, and good news, the HD Home Run add-on for Kodi is out, so we're going to install it on my Mac right now so you can see how it works. Uh, it's going to be available in two different ways. You can get it from the Silicon Dust website. You just download a zip file and install it. I'm going to show you that method here in a second. Uh, or you can get at it from the Kodi add-on repository, so it'll show up in that list of add-ons when you're out uh, in there browsing around. So what we're going to do now is just pop over to my Mac screen here, and I'll show you how to install the zip file version. So you're going to go over to System, uh, over to settings and then you're going to go to add-ons and uh, we're going to select install from zip file and again if you're doing the other method I will show you how to get at that in a second I have it in my downloads directory because that's where I uh, downloaded it too so I'm going to go to the home folder over to downloads and then it's called script.hd home run the version number may change depending on uh, when you're watching this video and as you can see it's already up and running on the first install it might uh, take a minute just to uh, install a couple of dependencies but it really is a pretty quick install process as you saw there it just kind of popped right up so now that it's installed we're going to just back out with our escape key uh, go over to videos and instead of selecting files like we used to do we're going to go over to add-ons and when we do that we'll see now an option for the HD home run so I'm going to switch back to my uh, desk shot here and hit the uh, key and I'll talk about these boxes here in a second uh, and as you can see it's already found my HD home run on the network and uh, it's tuned to NBC and I can now uh, just scroll through my channels so if I wanted to watch for example CBS instead I can just hit my enter key here uh, and that will pull it up now the uh, important thing about this uh, new guide here that they have as part of the plugin is that they have an EPG uh, subscription that they've paid for so uh, we've all been spoiled by Windows Media Center where we get this for free but Microsoft actually has to pay for all that electronic uh, you know television programming info uh, so uh, Silicon Dust is now footing that bill for us on this uh, plugin here as well and they've also implemented search features as well so we can go in and pull up the context menu you can do that by right-clicking or just typing the C key And if I wanted to see who has the news on right now I could just type in news and what it'll do is pull up that program guide now but only showing me the channels that I uh, have the news on. I can also search by a specific network, so I can type in WTNH uh, and get all of those pulled up that way. I think you could probably also do it by network also, so I typed in ABC, I can get that. I can type in NBC and see that. So it's a good way to kind of parse down that list uh, very quickly. Another thing you can do as well uh, is tune by the channel number. So I can just type in 1004, for example, here, and it will automatically, or after I hit the enter key, automatically tune uh, to that station. So you have some ability to navigate around that way too. I did find it works with remote control applications like this one on the iPhone, so I can scroll through uh, the list of stations here with my remote just like I did on the keyboard. Now, if you wanted to install the uh, plugin through the repository, let me show you how to get at that real quick. So the way uh, that will work is when you go out to your video add-ons, uh, you can just go over here to get more, and it should show up in this list of all of these other available add-ons for uh, your Kodi installation. So that'll probably be the easiest way to install it. Uh, but you can, again, you can also just get it directly from Silicon Dust as well. So you'll have some options there. I also wanted to answer some questions that I got from my preview video of this little add-on, and that is whether or not you can use this to record live television in addition to watching it. You cannot. It only is a live TV viewer, uh, but it will work alongside what you're already recording with. So for example, I have Windows Media Center running in the house that goes to all the TVs. Uh, I can also use this at the same time, uh, provided I I have enough tuner slots available on my HD home run device. Another question that people asked was whether or not this would support uh, DRM channels like HBO uh, if you're using the HD home run prime to get your cable over to it. Unfortunately, it will not play the DRM channels. That is a cable god decision. Those guys have to decide whether or not they want to allow Cody uh, into the club to watch that DRM protected content. At the moment, you cannot uh, but you can, of course, use Windows Media Center to watch it live, as well as I think the PlayStation 3 supports it. Other devices that support uh, that DRM content would work as well. Uh, but you could um, get the HBO Go app and watch uh, that as well, because if you have an HBO subscription, you can, of course, get access to that app. And one last thing to point out is that there's three different HD Home Run devices to choose from. So I use the HD Home Run Prime, and I bought that about two years ago because I was sick of the cable company forcing me to rent stuff from them. So uh, what you do with the HD Home Run Prime is get a cable card from your cable company and then uh, you can watch TV on your terms uh, without having to use any of their equipment because that cable card 
unlocks all of your subscribed channels for use on uh, the Kodi add-on like we're doing here, uh, as well as Windows Media Center and other things. So really uh, awesome way to do that. But if you are lucky enough to get things over the air, I only get one station over the air, uh, but if you can get more than I get, uh, you can get some other boxes from HD Home Run to completely cut the cord. So you got this one here called the Connect. Uh, this will take uh, two signals off the air and push them out over your computer network to Kodi or to Windows Media Center. Basically works exactly like uh, the HD Home Run Prime does. In fact, you could use both of these on the network at the same time. So I could grab some things off the air, some things over the cable, and use them uh, within the same application. So they, you can kind of just stack them up uh, on your network, which is pretty convenient. Now, if you also want to stream stuff to tablets and Wi-Fi devices more reliably, uh, you can look at getting the, the Extend Box. And what this is, uh, is it's basically the same thing. It's got a two-tuner uh, device on here, so it gets two stations at once. And then it's got a little chip on there that will encode everything into H.264 MPEG-4, basically the same format that YouTube uses, uh, so you can get it out to some lower powered devices. You don't lose a lot of quality either. It still looks pretty good, uh, but you're able to play it back on you know, weaker devices and devices that don't have a very good network connectivity. So you got a lot of options for uh, how you want to bring in video into your home and watch it and record it. And these are really great products, and I'm really excited to see what they continue to develop. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.